All right, so I got a few new little custom parts in, and in the last video I made, uh, I was talking about how difficult it is to get some matching colors, like if your frame came with some sort of color on it. And, uh, you know, I want something that's not gonna break the bank, that looks cool, that uh, is uh, like a brand or a quality that I trust. So I've, I've had a bunch of salt parts over the years. And salt, ugh, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a BMXer to be honest, so I'm not gonna say that they're like a, economy brand but they're they're certainly like the price of a lot of the salt stuff is really reasonable and they look good i really like the stuff uh so i got a stem and it's teal they had a blue but the blue is too dark so i went with this hoping it would be similar but apparently this is why i'm not an artist apparently i can't color match where it's shit uh so bummed about that it's teal that's more of like a aqua blue i guess uh, so that's okay. We're gonna put the pedals and the stem on and just see how it looks and I think it'll be kind of cool with a bunch of different uh, tones on here and uh, exactly why I'm sporting my uh, my electro threads uh, shorts here so I can in homage to uh, the multi-colored machine that this thing's gonna become. All right let's get to work and uh, put this thing together. I got this Odyssey half chain so if you've never seen a half chain before, that's the half chain. So the links, uh, we got half links in here. So I can fit up the rear dropout a little bit tighter because when I add, when I changed over to this sprocket, I was just left with this in between and I had to end up moving the, the rear wheel about a quarter inch back and that really makes a difference on the geometry of how easy or how, how much strength it's gonna take to lift up the front wheel or to pedal the front wheel up. So hopefully I can get a little bit of a better fit with uh, this chain and I just think this chain looks super badass too. It's gorgeous. All right, let's get to work. Wow, I really got foiled on this one. So the problem is on my 23 tooth, and I was worried this was gonna happen, the, where I thought you would put the bolt in is too short of a distance for what's actually on my crank set for where the bolt goes, like the bolt would tighten on. So it fits on the crank, but there's no way to bolt it down. So unfortunately, not gonna work for me. So I think at this point, I'm just gonna leave the, uh, the bike in limbo for a few days. I'm gonna order myself a 24 tooth and have to get that in. But I do think I'm gonna put the stem and pedals on anyway, and I can install the chain tensioners and at least get that done. Part update the installation video did not go exactly as I was hoping since the 23 tooth uh, sprocket I bought does not fit the chain ring properly so what happened was this is the little pinch bolt here so that bolt goes through and holds the, the sprocket to your crank arm because the sprocket's just sitting on there the sprocket isn't just blind it's not attached to anything and what happened was the 23 tooth just doesn't line up it's not it doesn't stick out far enough for the bolt to come. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Uh, I don't know a ton about BMX bikes. I've owned them my whole life, but I've never really spent a lot of time messing with hubs and crank sets and stuff like that. So if you know of a way to get the gear ratio, either a smaller sprocket in the front or larger than 12 in the back, let me know in the comments, because I would love to know. Uh, so anyway though, I got my new stem and pedals looking pretty good in the, uh, the teal color. I didn't think I was going to like it because of the clashing, but then I love these shorts and I said, look, all colors, all colors can be together and, and hang out. It's all good. 
so I do have the uh, Odyssey half link chain. So you can see these are not standard links. Each one is a half a link. So now I can shorten the chain by just a super small amount. So I can pull that, that tire up as tight as I can get it. Because the shorter your chain stay distance, the, the easier it is to wheel. And I got these chain tensioners. So now that they're locked in, every time I take the wheel out, I just slide it back in and that's it. I know the, the tire, like the wheel is centered now and that's it. I just lock those in. I don't touch them anytime I got to take the rear wheel in and out. It's just locked to where it is. All right, that's about the, uh, the extent of it. I'm going to show a clip of trying some wheelies because I want to do what everybody else does. And in November, I want to say like five month wheelie progression video and see where I'm at. So we gotta got to get the baseline. I'll show you where I'm at right now as I really, my first night of trying wheelies on this bike. And we'll see how it goes. Other than that, the only parts I think are left to update that I would like to update. I do want to go hydraulic disc brakes eventually. And I'm not a huge fan of just the, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the radio bikes. Uh, three piece or their, their crank set, but I think I would like to upgrade. And the bottom bracket, the bottom bracket is a little creaky and I think it's stiff too. It just doesn't feel good. And I can tell it's a cheap bottom bracket. So I would like to update the bottom bracket just so it, it's got a, um, a smoother pedal to it. Other than that, that's the whip. And now going forward, most of these videos should be me trying to do shit with this bike. So. That's it. I'll see you in the next video, but let's check out where I'm at with wheelies and then I will update as I progress, hopefully. Should have started filming that right off the bat. I thought I'd do a couple just to warm up and, and then, of course, I looped out and went flat on my back. Of course, didn't get that on film. Oh well. Alright, let's try a few wheelies now that I'm injured. Somebody online said wear a backpack full of pillows and uh, should have done that already but I think I'm going to try that actually. That really hurt. Oh well. I'll leave the uh, wheelie progression there. That's where I'm at. That was the best one. Maybe a few pedals. I've had them maybe seven, eight, nine pedals but that's because I wasn't at the balance point and I was pedaling to keep it up and that doesn't count. Because there's no fear there when you're just barely keeping the front wheel off the ground. But that's where I'm at, if I can get it balanced. All right, I'll update in a couple of months or maybe a few weeks, depends on uh, how fast I get them.